For most resellers, it is quite clear that you need a professional edition when connecting to a relational database, like SQL Server or Oracle. And that you need the ultimate edition if you want to do smart card encoding. However, between the entry and the professional editions, there is another one, the premium edition. This is the edition you definitely need when you want to connect to Microsoft Access, capture signatures or print two-dimensional barcodes. But the fact is that the premium edition, even without needing access signatures or 2D barcodes, offers many practical features. This video gives a rapid overview and I hope it makes clear why it is worthwhile to invest in a premium edition. Please have a look at this card template. It shows the three most obvious reasons to choose for a premium edition. First, it connects to a Microsoft Access database as can be seen from the data definition wizard. Second, it contains an image object that is used to show a signature. In the mappings window, you can see that signatures work very much the same as ID photos. You can either use a database field that points to an image or a field that contains the signature itself. Card Exchange supports Topaz and Wacom devices for capturing signatures. Third, it shows also a 2D barcode. Two dimensional barcodes can easily be added from the designer. And they are, can be mapped to a database field in very much the same way as you do with an ordinary text object. Let's have a look at what else you can do with Card Exchange Premium. In the upper left corner you can see a logo that changes when I choose another record. If we look in the mappings window, you can see that we map the corresponding image object on the layout as a variable image. Variable images work almost the same as photos and signatures. The only difference being that the images cannot be captured or imported and should already exist on your system. In this case, we want to show a different logo depending on the job title. The images are stored in the Logos folder in JPEG format. And the image file name corresponds to the possible values of the job title. This card is connected to an access database. Let's see what other database related options are available in the premium edition, but not in the entry. If we open a database edit window, you can see that we have a customized look. The ID column is made invisible as we consider this field irrelevant for the end user. For the job title, we created a drop down menu and the two odd remaining fields are visible but not editable. You can find in the video about the database edit window how to configure this in the data definition wizard. The print date field is used to store the system date when a card is printed and the print counter field keeps track of the number of times a record was actually printed. To achieve this, I define two storage items in the data definition wizard. The print counter field was marked as you selected column as a counter. The printed field was left on supply a new value for the selected column. The print counter does not need any mapping, but for the print date we only specify that we would supply a new value and we still have to tell card exchange what value that is. As you see, we use the print date option from the drop down menu. Another very powerful feature you will only find in the premium edition or higher are filters. Look at the filters tab on the left hand side. I created a button that limits the people shown in the name list to poets only. 
I could create another filter button for composers, directors, actors, etc. But if there are many different job titles, it is also possible to create a button that prompts for the job title. I also added a button to disable these filters. What I'm showing you now are the so-called level 2 filters, which are defined in the data menu. Whether the no filter button is shown depends on this checkbox. Each filter has a number of conditions. And as you've seen, optionally you can have the filter prompt for a value. You can add as many conditions as you want. And you can add as many filter buttons as you want too. Whereas the level 2 filters are associated to filter buttons, the level 1 filter simply eliminates records from the name list. Here you can see that I configured card exchange not to show any actors in the name list. Level 3 filters are meant for live searching on the database. When enabled on every refresh of the data, it will prompt you to specify which record or records you want to load. This filter is handy for very large databases, but you better not use it in combination with level 1 and level 2 filters to avoid confusion. Apart from the Filters tab, the Premium Edition also has a Windows Printers tab. Here you can add buttons for the different printers that are connected to your system. Printers are added or removed via the Print menu, select Printers. Here you can also give a more user-friendly name to your printers and determine the order in which they appear in the list. Another thing you should have a look at in the Premium Edition are the several option windows. In the Data menu we have the Edit options. Here you have several features that can streamline your enrollment process if you use Card Exchange for data entry. For example, you can tell Card Exchange to start acquiring a photo automatically as soon as you insert a new record. Then print a card and start a data entry for another new record. In the Photos menu there is also an option button that now has an additional Options tab. Here you can tell what should be done when you print a card for which there is no photo available. The default behavior used in the Entry Edition is not to print a card at all and continue the batch with the next card. But as you see, the Premium offers various alternatives. You can also specify on a per card basis whether you want to show the image editor after taking a photo and whether you want to see that annoying confirmation message. You can also change the Take Photo button in the main window into an Import Photo button if you like. The options for the signatures are very much the same. This window is also the place where you can choose your signature device and set the line color and thickness. I have skipped one very important feature of the Premium Edition, the possibility to create user accounts with login names and passwords. This is probably one of the most important reasons to choose for a Premium Edition, and therefore I will dedicate a separate video to this powerful option. Thank you for your attention.